Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again. Uh, now then, let's have a look at a song by a band that I've never covered or talked about not one time here on my channel over the past four or five years. Grand Funk Railroad with their 1973 hit, We're an American Band. Just a fantastic classic rock track with a cool main riff and overall start to finish not that difficult to play. Let's close in a little bit here on the fretboard to learn how to play it, yeah? Good then, we're an American band, Mark Farner and Grand Funk Railroad from 1973. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial and this track starts with drums and cowbell, of course, and uh, when the band does join it drops right into a short intro solo and we're going to get to that intro solo, but first I'm going to show you what's going on rhythm-wise underneath that intro solo because it's important, because it's what we're going to be playing during the chorus, and it's this. Now that's the first verse, but uh, let's back up a little bit here. So we're starting with a D uh, bar chord here at the fifth fret position. All down strokes, we're just going to hammer away on this D bar chord here seven or eight times. And we're going to drop on to this sus right here at the eighth fret of the B string. Hit that five or six times and then back off to the bar. Then we're going to move it down to C and do the exact same thing. Right, and then we're going to go off to an A sharp bar chord, back to C, and then back to D. Quick jog back to C, back to D for the first verse. So that is the chorus, and it's also what we're soloing over. A sharp, back to C, and then back to D. Quick jog back to C. So the, uh, the intro solo goes a little something like this. So we're, uh, we're soloing in D, of course, because of all these Ds going on here. So we're going to start on the 10th fret of the uh, D string, slide it into 12, and then pick it a couple of times. Now we're going to hammer on 10 to 12 four times. And each time you hammer on to that 12, you're going to double pick it. And then after you do those four hammer ons, you're going to take that 12, slide it into 14, and pick it a couple of times. Then you're going to go down to the 12 of the G string, back to the 14 of the D, slide it back to 12, and then off to 10. Back onto the 12, slide it back into the 14 and let it ring for a bit. Now we're going to go back to the 12 of the G and kind of play what we just played. We're going to go down to the 12 of the G, back up to the 14, slide it back to 12 and then off to 10. And then we're just going to hang on that 10 and let it ring. And then you're going to pick it uh, once or twice again and let it ring again, right? So up to that point. Just let it ring, pick it again, and then finish the solo with this. So we're going to go from the 10 of the D string up to the uh, 12 of the A, a little back and forth twice. Then you're going to go 10, 12 in somewhat of a staccato fashion four times. Down to the 10 of the G, pick it twice. Finish the solo with this. All in the 10s and 12s, pulling off 12 to 10, up to the 12 of the A, back to the 10 of the D, on to the 12 of the D, back down to that 10 of the G, back to the 12, right? Pick it twice, and then one final 
and then slide out of it. So that is the intro solo. Let it ring. Pick it. And then we drop into the verse riff, which we're going to be repeating three times. Once without the vocals, and then uh, the next two times you play it is the first verse. That is a great riff, classic riff that. D, three finger D power chord. Quick little down, up, down, right? Slide out of it, repeat that twice. And then you've got these little mutes in there. It's a little like, so it's, I think you're like six pick strikes, right? It's a little down, up, down, up, down, right? And then you grab that D again and slide out of it, right? And then we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab the third fret of the uh, low E string, hammer on to five, do the exact same thing on the A string, and then off to the C note there at the third fret of the A. This is very bass heavy. You really can't hear the guitars doing this very well. If they're doing it at all, you know, it's like, if they're doing it, it's really buried. It's really, uh, what you're really hearing here is bass doing this lick, right? Right, and then we're gonna drop in, after we do that, those little hammer-ons, right? We're gonna drop into the C power chord. Hit it twice, then we're gonna go into D, up to F, back to E, and then back to C. And then repeat the riff. Three times. And then we drop into the pre-chorus. And that leads into the chorus. So the pre-chorus, G major chord. Lots of little mutes in there, right? That kind of rhythm, right? and then down to a D bar chord again. Quick little drop onto the sus, back off to the bar chord, right? Off to C, back to D. Grab the sus again, off to the D again, back to G, back to D, grab the sus, up to F, and then just strike that F, move it into G, and then we're into the chorus, which we've already learned. C. A sharp. C. D. Back to C. In the second verse. Three times. Into the second pre chorus G, D, C, D, G, D, F, G, into the second chorus. Sharp, back to C, back to D. Now the second chorus is twice as long. They go right back into the chorus again. They go right back into D again. C, A sharp, back to C, back to D, back to C, 
and then we're into the main solo and all very short main solo as well and uh, and this is going to pretty much finish it because uh, coming out of the main solo we're just back into the chorus again for like four repeats right so this is the main solo <laughs> So that's pretty much the solo right there. So we're starting on the 11th fret of the G string. Quick little slide into 12 and then you're going to pick it a couple of times. Then you're going to go back off to 11, back on to 12, back to 11, and then up to the uh, 12 of the D, which you're going to pick four or five times. Something like that. drop into this. So we're going to back up to the 9 of the G and we're going to go 9, 8, 4 times. Very staccato. And then the final time you go off to that 8, you're going to chromatically run it up to 11. 8, 9, 10, 11, right? And there's also harmony to that. I'll show you that as well. So we're on the 10-12 of the B string, a little hammer on, we finish on the 11 there of the G string, the little staccato bit is 8 off to 7, and the little chromatic run is 7, 8, 9, 10, right? But unless you have four hands, you're not going to be able to play both of those. Uh, so stick to this one. And then we drop into this. So we're going to go 10 on to 12 of the G right into a full step bend. And then you're going to ride down the 10s of the B and the high E. And then you're going to roll back up to the 10 of the B. Right into a full step bend on the 13 of the B. And then you drop into that repeating lick right there. So bending the 13 down to the 10, pull off 13 to 10 of the high E, and repeat, right? I think you repeat it about seven or eight times. Right? So into that lick. And then finally you drop into a unison bend in the same position, still holding this 10 on the B string, on the uh, high E string, sorry, and the 13 of the B, and you're going to raise that up, right, strike it four or five times, and you're going to release it back to the natural position on the 13, pick it a couple of times, and then re-bend it. And then finish the solo with that. Bend on 13, release off to 10. Same thing on the G string, 12 off to 10, and then finish on the 12 of the D string. So that's the solo. Right? So nice and slow. And that's the solo. And then we drop right back into the chorus again. A sharp, up to C, back to D. We're an American band. We're an American band. And like I said, the chorus, I think it repeats four or five times at the end of this track. And right at the very end, they just bounce back and forth between D and C. We're an American band. We're an American band. We're coming to your town. We'd like to party it down. We're an American band. 
We're an American band. And then the song goes back into D for the end. And that's it. That is how you play We're an American Band by Grand Funk Railroad. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and accurate. I think it's pretty close. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to the growth of my little channel. I hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.